And in 2016, it was very evident na sobrang yung level of confidence mo from the previous year, sobrang taas talaga. <laughs> was it because uh, during 2016, kayo na yung pumili ng isa suot nyo for ah. the finals? Unlike the previous year na binibigay sa inyo ng organization, what to win? So, nakatulong ba yun na parang you already have the say kung ano yung susuotin mo for the finals? Uh, yes, definitely. Pero it also puts a big pressure on your shoulders because you know you have the ability to choose your gown. So, uh, first of all, the variation of choices and designers you have to choose from is a lot. Especially here in the Philippines, our talent roster, ang laki-laki, and dami magagaling designer dito. So, sino pipiliin mo? Anong style ng gown? Anong kulay ng gown? And you have to be responsible of, of, of your decision. So, kung maganda yan, good. Kung, kung pangit yan, good. Responsibilidad mo din yun. Mm, yes, but, yes, that's true, yeah. For, but, on the other hand, the good the, the good side of it is that you get to choose your gown. So, and you get to put on your designs and, and throw, throw what you want with your designer. You're lucky if you're a designer and you collaborate well. So I was very lucky because I collaborated with Francis Libira and he was so open and we got each other and we came up with this. I didn't want a typical pageant gown. We came up yeah. with this this purple gown, medio ombre. Yeah. It, 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 what I had and what he had, it, I had a different vision, he had a different vision, but when I saw the gown, I loved it. I loved it. It was different, diba? And uh, it's something I've never seen before in pageantry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, so <laughs> it definitely helped me. And yeah, so I guess it, yeah, it definitely helped me. But during 2015, you had no choice but to accept the fact that yun yung susuotin mo. Mm-hmm. So you had to be you just had to accept it. Na ito yung susutin ko. This is what I have to work with. These are the cards that I've been dealt with. And this is what I'm going to work with. In 2016, I have to go out and source my cards. Mm. Uh, to yeah. for my gum. So it's it's a different ball game. I mean, it's, it's fair, most of all. It's fair for both years. It's just a different year and different times with just different protocols. So, uh, Different degree of responsibility because in 2016, it's already you being responsible for your overall look in the finals. Yes, in 2015, you just had to accept the fact that sometimes it's luck. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's yung pakikisama mo din sa tao if they like you or not. Mm-hmm. If you're a good guy, they receive you a good guy. If not, then you... If, if yes, you feel it. If no, baka you feel it also if they don't like you. So you just had to work with what was given. Yeah. Before I go to the next question, I just want to shout out Tita Belay of Tita of Pageantry Swatching. Hi, Hi. Tita Belay. <laughs> Hi, Tita. Please tell Bakehouse I've received their bread. Kinain na ni. Bake, sabi ko, picture mo muna. Oh my God. And there's this interesting question on our live. Uh, what were what crown were you aiming on your second try? Be yeah. honest, be honest, uh, Kylie. Oh. You don't need to, you know. I'm here, but you know, you have to be very honest. <laughs> 2015, 2016, on 2000. naman yung crown na binabay na mga girls, diba? And it was the top crown. And when yeah. you join, yeah, when you when you join Bini Bini. The crown that you're aiming for is the top crown. So mm. I'm gonna say, yeah, it was the top crown I was I was aiming for. It's then really was... big. It's because because the stage is really big. If you get the Miss Universe Philippines title, it's really different. You know, like wow. even us in Miss International we admit that. You know, but now it's a different ball game. You know, Philippine Filipinas <laughs> top <laughs> title now is Miss International Philippines. So. Of course, I was aiming for. Of course, I was aiming for the top crown. But you know what? Everything happens for a reason. Everything we have you. Yeah. <laughs> if I got that crown, then I, yeah. I then I wouldn't be where I am today. Mm. That's mm. true. Yeah. 
I'm happy with so it. When you, so when you were announced being in Pilipinas International, I think it gained a lot of reactions on social media, um, especially when you watch the Coronation Night um, video. So I just want to know what, what were the things that you know were running in your mind when you were announced as Binibining Filipinas International? So during Binibining Filipinas, kasi, you you kind of you're on stage and you kind of have a sense of who's going to win because you you already figure out this idea. Nakapagyanang yung winners, yung cameraman, <laughs> the lapit 